Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 22nd episode of Hunter x Hunter. Last episode, Gon had a few words to say to Killua's older brother, and you know, an arm to break as well. But in the end, we decided we we're gonna go rescue Killua because his family is not the best family ever. We think he'll be better with us, hanging out with us, going on an adventure with us, basically. So that's what we're gonna do. We talked about Gon's father a little bit as well, so that was pretty cool. You know, learn more about him as we go, I suppose. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it and hope this goes well. Three, two, one, play. The internet. <coughs> right now. I still just love how much excitement there is in that scene. Like, hey, we're, we're just right here. Want to go? Where, where will we go? We'll go right now. Yeah, let's go right now. It'd be great. You know, I just, I like that scene, so I'm glad we got to see it a second time. On a quick side note, my cat is currently sleeping on my lap, so he may get up at some point and walk onto the bed during the video, more than likely. You know, on a side note, I am not going to drop this show, so if you ever see, like, I've not reacted to it for like a week or whatever, it's not because I dropped it, it's just because I couldn't do it on this regular day for whatever reason. If you ever drop a series, I, I make that very clear. I usually edit the title of my most recent upload for the show and add dropped into it, as well as onto the playlist, so I, I make things pretty clear when I drop a show, I just want to... Let people, let people know that real quick. And yeah, there he goes. What, what did I tell you? I'm basically psychic. So was your school an assassination classroom? Not very many people, if fiction is to be believed. Oh, just shoving in his mouth while he's not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, you'll see your bestie soon enough. Got a little bit of something there going. A dangerous watchdog. Huh. I wonder who they're referring to with that. Dentora region. So we finally get to be in like a whole new area. It's great. The Oreo just got his whole elbow out there. The volcano. Yeah, it looks like a place assassins would live, I would say. Always a good important first step. Can't skip it. Kinda of reminds me of Zelda Ocarina at time. You know the the Goron place. With you know going to a village then heading off over to the nearby mountain that you can see. And Kukuro just kinda of sounded like the name of the village too. I think it was Kakuroko or something. Been a while since I played that Zelda game. They do look a bit more important than that. <laughs> Please pay attention to me, everyone. Kukuru. Kukuru Mountain. Dang. It's somewhere, you know. I'm not sure where specifically, but it's it's around there. Zoldick. I don't think Leorio's Le 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 into it. Uh, 
That being said, it sounds supposed to be a bit more secret than that, but it's on the guided tour, so. Oh wow, that's a gate. Wow, that's a really cool gate. Can I have it? <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, it's even got a cool name. <laughs> Very encouraging. Well, we are. We're going to proceed. Of course they do. I figured. Damn. I guess assassinations pays well. Makes sense. Knock three times. <laughs> Partially. <laughs> I did remember that part, yeah. What are you guys here for, anyway? Well, let's make some good assassins. Oh, wow. Don't, I hope you took a picture of Killua while you were together. What? <laughs> uh, give... Leorio's on the same page. That was great. <coughs> Is that the Watchdog? Actually, Watchdog Hades, it could be referring to, like, Cerberus or whatever. Like a literal dog. Good luck on that one. I feel like going to kill an assassin in his own territory is not a smart move. That's how you die. It's like, it's like, it's a, that's as stupid as arguing with a lawyer on the internet about law. Like, it's to that level. <laughs> well, they are great at that quickly. <laughs> well then. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, I think we saw the watchdog. Or at least part of it. <laughs> well, they're gone. Yeah, that's the concern here. Messing up his feeding schedule. Uh, I think that was Cerberus. That is the name of the three-headed dog in, in Hades, right? I'm a little bit rusty on my Greek mythology, but... But yeah, I think we can handle it, probably. Maybe. Yes, we are the bestest of Tomodachis. Yeah, I bet Killua doesn't have friends come over very often. It's probably a rarity. I bet. Uh, it sucks to see lots of skeletons. Very creepy. The thunder? I mean, you probably don't hear that, but... It's just, wow, that was loud. Concerning. Uh... Yeah, I think that got my cat's attention, too. I saw it. I saw it. Mika. Well, kind of confirmation there. As indeed the watchdog. But does it look like an actual dog, though? That's what I want to know. At least partially. <laughs> well, it's fine. That would be unfortunate. I think they'll be fine if they're careful, though. Well... Does he? 
Oh. I guess that makes sense. More perceptive than I am. Not that it's a high bar. <laughs> a key for intruders. That sounds like an oxymoron, kind of. I mean... That makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> A helpless guard. Yep. <laughs> well, I kind of figured as much. <laughs> Well, I mean, they just kind of went in there, didn't they? <laughs> well then. Mika, we're gonna come visit. Please, calm down. We don't need to... You don't need to attack us, we're, we're cool. And you're not doing very well, the Oreo. Apparently I wasn't paying very much attention when the two random guys went in there because I thought they went in there pretty easily. Oh, can I show us how it's done? Okay, wow. He's ripped, good god. He lifts. Testing gate is not worthy to go inside. Well, I got bad news for you, Leorio. Well, it's clearly possible. I bet that's age for you. Oh, you're in shape better than I am. Well, of course, I'm on the one gate. Don't be silly. Yeah, can't you count? Damn. A lot. Oh, we didn't even get the math right. Yeah, I'm here to see my friend, not to pass any tests. <laughs> I'll use the intruder's door. Yeah, but he's not a wuss. He can handle a monster. <laughs> I mean, some anime characters have done that, testing their friends. He can try, but we'll, we'll be careful. Yeah, go and he's not the kind of person that you can just sway with words easily. Well, then where does that leave us? 
Do you have the friend key? Be funny. Zebro. That did not go well, did it? Apparently no friends allowed. Butler. Oh. It's, of course, they're very secretive. Yeah, let me talk to him this time. Well, as long as we can get through to him. And kill what came out to play. That's not true, though. It's a recent development, but we're totally his friends. <laughs> Let's try this again. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Gon, you're amazing. <laughs> Now let's pretend. Yeah, just let me talk to Killua, it'll be fine. Oh. Wow. That's a fair point, but we're legit. Very paranoid. We're not going to get through to this guy, are we? <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> That's very true, but... I guess I do have good reason to be as paranoid as, paranoid as they are. It just doesn't help us very much. Well, let's, well, he's angry. What's plan B? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Oh yeah, that was plan B, wasn't it? Well, let's, uh, let's go. <laughs> well, that we could fly, this would be pretty easy. <coughs> I'll give you the key, kid. Just stop climbing up my door. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? He's a very stubborn boy. Oh. That would be very helpful, actually. <laughs> Just how confident are you in that? I would like to know. Well, then. Yeah, I don't think Killer would be very happy if you let Cohen die. Well then, are you coming with us now? I didn't realize that was his fishing pole at first. Silly me. Believe it. Well, Mika won't frighten him. He may or may not kill him, but he won't frighten him. Yeah, like way back in episode one of the original series, he made friends with an animal.
Okay, Mika, we're gonna go pet you. Please be friendly to us. Nice moonshot. So we're already on the other side. Okay. Mika, you've come to play. Are you taking a nap? I wanted. I really do want to see this Mika. It's been really built up, so I want to see what this boy looks like. Come here, come here, boy. It's okay. We're friendly. One of us is good with animals. There's the hand we've already seen, but uh, oh. I mean, looks more like a wolf than a dog, but it's, it's close enough. He looks friendly enough. Those eyes don't look like eyes of a murderer. <laughs> uh, a little bit nervous, I see. Yeah, a little bit different. <laughs> a lot of sweat. Nothing else. But yeah, there is a big difference between a trained animal and a wild one. That's definitely true. Oh, wow. He's straight out with it, too. I guess I was wrong. Maybe he was a bit more susceptible to fear than I thought. Understandable, I suppose. But that doesn't change. That's still the priority. We ride him all the way to the, to the house. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Not going back now. We're committed at this point. I look forward to their heartfelt reunion. <laughs> yeah, the more I watch this show, especially now that we've gotten to this arc, I can definitely see why certain people on the internet uh, ship Gon and Killua together. The show does make it pretty easy. I wouldn't, of course, because I'm not into that, but... I can definitely see why... <laughs> It just, the show really does make that easy to do. With scenes like this, when you have one character so desperate and focused on saving another, you know. Although now that I mentioned shipping, there's really no ships for me in this show. Mostly because it's basically an entire male main cast is the big, biggest reason. And like I said, I'm not into Yowie ships at all. Okay. Well, that was the 22nd episode of Hunter x Hunter. And yeah, this was, uh, this was quite an episode. Okay. Now we obviously we're gonna make our way to this area and get to the the what's his name Zoldic, uh the household the manor the area and they own a lot of territory like the mountain just around the mountain this big gate that's pretty pretty crazy like it's not an easy thing to to get to like it's not just uh you know you knock on the door and then they open it and you're in the house no 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 it's it's a lot more difficult than that because we got the watchdog which was mentioned in the title and we eventually got to see the watchdog. And he was a pretty, pretty good boy. Pretty good boy. You know, pretty fluffy doggy. But yeah, the gate was awesome. Like, the gate was just top tier. For sure. But yeah, they apparently have, like, uh, you know, a guard outside of it with the key. The intruder key, which is still a funny concept to me. But they have a key specifically for intruders so that if, you know, 
the dog knows when he goes to that door, they're probably not invited, and you should take care of them as such. I want to rewatch this scene where those two guys uh go in there. Yeah, they walk up there, our guard looking incredibly bored. Yeah, he busted up the door, threatens him to open the gate. The master would not be pleased. Don't worry, we're going to kill your master. No, you're not. And then is he reluctantly gives up the key? Yeah, well, I just totally blanked on the scene. I don't know why. My bad. But yeah, they got the intruder key. Like, I don't know, just grabbing the key completely went over my head. Like, I knew they threatened the guy and all that, but... But yeah, that's why they were able to get into the gateway so easy, because they used the intruder key. They didn't use the testing method. I think that's the deal here. And then... Just, like, the corpses come back out. Yeah, that didn't make me jump a bit when the... Actually, yeah, he didn't even go to get them. Just Mika voluntarily just tossed them out. That's kind of funny. So yeah, the guard really doesn't have to do much at all, really. He just stands there and just occasionally gives out the key, and then when he does, he just grabs the corpses outside. So yeah, I mean, pretty easy job. Probably boring, but easy nonetheless. But okay, now that I've cleared that up, uh, yeah, very interesting concept with that gate. Like, apparently, like you can just use a key to get in, but if you do, you're, you're flagged as an enemy, basically. Or, you know, you use the testing gate like you'd use your strength which you know that's pretty cool that's a really cool gate that's probably the best gate I've ever seen in my life although the gate and the anime gate's pretty cool too but that came out way after this show and man that guy was just ripped once he took off his jacket like he was still fat you know but he just put some serious muscles like he could break me in half with like two fingers probably But yeah, just, we, we told the guy that we're Gon's friends, Attila was friends, and he was, you know, wanted us to be allowed in there, of course, but it's easier said than done. We talked to the butler, he doesn't believe we're Gon's friends, and Attila was friends, why do I keep doing that? He doesn't believe we're Killa was friends, and even if, uh, hypothetically, a person named Gon was his friend, how do you prove that you're Gon, you know? So yeah, we just were making no progress on that front, I and mean, Gon got pretty angry from that, too. He's like, you know what, fine, I'll climb the stupid... Okay, like, stop, stop, go, go, and calm down. He's like, okay, I'll just, I'll use the, I'll, I'll, I'll get you in there. You know, I won't use the key, he used the actual muscle technique. But anyway, point is, he got in there with them, and uh, we saw Mika, he's pretty cool, you know? He's not an evil doggy, he's a good doggy, he's just a trained doggy. Trained doggy to eat bad guys, bad people, and traitors, intruders, and all that. But yeah, Gon very determined to meet up with Killua. Not gonna let anything stop him. He was much more afraid of the dog than I expected. Like, I, I expected maybe like a little bit of a tense facial expression, like, okay, this is a little bit, okay, it's a little bit intimidating, but it's it's fine, but no. He's like drenched in sweat and actually admitting that he's full on scared. <clears throat> I mean, Gon is an honest kid, like he said, so it makes sense he would admit it if he was scared, but I don't know. I think I just, I figured it'd take a bit more than a big doggy to scare Gon, you know? But, uh, considering he's so used to animals, but I guess I was wrong in that one, as I tend to be in things, you know. But yeah, Leorio failed attempt to open the gate was funny. Gon's failure at math was funny too, although I didn't actually notice the inaccuracy because I wasn't trying to, you know. Um, I'm not, I'm not much better because of that. It is also funny to me how this guided tour just talks about this assassination family like, it's secretive to a degree, but at the same time, they still talk about it, you know? So that's a little bit of a... a little bit weird, you know? That it's a big secretive, protective family thing, and yet it's it's covered in the guided tour, you know? I don't know, it just seemed a little bit interesting to me. And yeah, the tour guide lady, she just... I mean, I've said this about unimportant characters before, but she really came across as a Dragon Ball Z character, like a like an unimportant character, like a background character. Just something about the way she was drawn, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, pretty good episode. We're definitely getting deep into this Killua rescue arc. Which, you know, reminds me a little bit of, uh, you know, the Rukia rescue arc, arc from Bleach. It just kind of reminds me of that.
But yeah, those guys, those guys just died. I mean, made a mistake going through that gate. But yeah, I think that's all I really got to, to say on this one. I do look forward to going and Kilo actually having a, you know, their reunion. They'll probably hug each other and high five and stuff. It'll be great. But they're going to run into a lot more problems on the way there, I'm I'm pretty sure. Probably have to, gonna have to fight the butler at some point. There'll probably be people to fight before we even get to him. You know, uh, I don't know. I imagine we're going to fight, fight a few foes before we actually get to Killua. And hopefully we can meet up the parents and say, hey, seems like it's all a misunderstanding. I'm actually Killua's friend. You know, you can, you can stop trying to kill me now. I know that's your job and all, but we're, we're cool. We're cool. It's, so can you stop that, please? You know, so I, I feel like this will be a fun arc. I think there's going to be there's potential for a lot of good stuff with this arc, and I look forward to seeing how it progresses. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoky for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.